Hi, I'm Sam Stanley, president of Stony Brook University. This week, colleges and universities across the country are engaging in a National Immigration Day of Action to highlight the important role immigration plays in higher education and the nation's economy. Did you know more than three out of every four patents that top research universities in the United States received in 2011 had an immigrant inventor? And that every foreign-born graduate with an advanced degree from a U.S. university who stays and works in a STEM field creates, on average, 2.6 American jobs. Plus, immigrants are twice as likely as the native-born to start a business, and more than 40% of Fortune 500 companies were founded by an immigrant or the child of an immigrant. To prepare students for a 21st century workforce, education and immigration policies must keep pace with innovation and new demand. As the topic of immigration reform is debated in Washington, Albany, and in state capitals across the country, I want to share with you how Stony Brook University benefits from its diverse faculty and student population. When I was uh, 13 years old, I was away from my parents in Colombia. My parents were here in America working as undocumented immigrants, and uh, they made a decision to bring me to America. So I came in a small boat that came to the coast of Miami, and uh, it was a trip that took about two weeks, and I've been in the United States uh, since 1978. Um, I came to this country when I was 20 months old with my mom, and we overstayed a visa, and um, we just, we had like a train of bad lawyers that didn't do what they were supposed to, so there came a point when like immigration was just like, you guys need to leave. I came here because um, when I was younger, my mother, she moved here to take care of my grandfather, and she lived here for a couple of years, so she didn't want to move back to Jamaica, so she decided to file for me and my sisters because she knew that the life here was different from that of Jamaica, so she wanted to give us a better life. My dream was always to help other people and, and to go to college. I got accepted to Princeton University. Uh, I had been there for about a year, and I received a letter from the university telling me that my grades were some of the top grades in the school. Two weeks later, I got another letter saying that I had to show Princeton my green card. I didn't have a green card. So I went to the, to the president of the university, Bill Bowen, who basically told me that I could stay at Princeton. So he gave me that second chance, that second opportunity uh, to graduate from Princeton to finish school over there. I wish the government would step up and make it easier for undocumented students here to stay in school and finish school and then eventually get a job and like add to our community like everyone else's because it's really unfair to just have us hiding in the shadows. In Jamaica there are education opportunities but unless you're financially stable and you have a lot of money you're not able to impact, you're not able to access those resources. Well, as opposed to here, there are a lot of ways that you can get scholarships and grants and other ways of paying for financial aid for school. So she knew that we were smart enough to, you know, get the scholarship and the grants and the aid. So she just wanted to give us that opportunity to be able to have an education. I appreciate that you took the time to hear these compelling stories. And I'm grateful to these members of our Stony Brook community who had the courage to share their experiences with us. There are countless others just like them, sitting in classrooms or perhaps teaching or working in laboratories, each of them striving to achieve their own American dream. So what must we do to give them their chance at the American dream while also maintaining America's competitive edge in this global economy? I believe we need a new common sense approach to immigration. We need to create a pathway towards citizenship for the sons and daughters of undocumented immigrants that will allow them to become citizens and will remove federal and state barriers to their access to higher education. We need to streamline the process of green cards for advanced STEM graduates and eliminate per country cap limitations so the best and brightest international students stay in this country, complete their education, and keep the innovation, job creation, and vital research they perform here at home. Finally, we need to expand the H-1 visas so we can attract more outstanding students to the U.S. and keep the pipeline of excellence intact. These measures will help preserve the American dream for thousands of students and will ensure that U.S. universities and industry retain their global leadership in research and development. That's a win for all of us.